you guys welcome back to the channel this is Lone Star Chick Plans and we are back with another video and today's video I just wanted to kind of like go back in time because I didn't really do that part was um, go back in time and go back to the beginning when I started really paying off this debt and see where I started from to kind of like see how far I've progressed since then and so I'm gonna go back with you guys through the numbers to show you guys what all I've paid off and how far I've come as just motivation but also um, just as I guess like a reminder for myself that you know I have come a long way but I still have a ways to go but that you know I can still do it you know I'm not I'm not stuck and I'm not going backwards even though some of the numbers seem like they're going backwards it's just you know I, I have to keep going and that you know eventually I will be done doing this and it will feel so good so let's start you know with the first one so this was November 2023 the date the first I'm gonna put the date that I paid it off over here on the left and it says date, debt, amount, and left to goal. That means left of what I still have to pay. I got this um, free printable from the Financial Cookbook website. I just went on Google and, and tried to find a, a debt tracker that I didn't have to recreate. And I just printed it. And it just so happened to be in the color that I like. That goes with my color scheme. So we just got lucky there. But we'll start with the first one. And the first one was paid off in November 2023. And that was my Macy's card. And the amount that was paid was $72.05. And I have zero left to pay on that. The second one was Academy, and that was paid off in December 2023. And that amount was 154 and 67 cents, and that has been paid in full. The next the next couple were my Paisen accounts, and that was Paisen 1, 2, 3, and 4. One, two, three, and four. And that was Paisen 1, Paisen 2, and Paisen number three and Paisen number four. Paisen number one was paid for three hundred and fifty six twenty two. Paisen number two was paid in full five seventy three sixty. And both of these are paid off. Pays in number three was 200 and pays in number four was 35. The next one after that was my Samsung card which was paid in January. And that was a total of Nine eighty five thirty three. That is paid in full. The next one that I paid off was my PayPal pay in four payments that I had from Christmas, and that was one twenty twenty four. This wasn't like on a credit card or anything. It was just a bunch of pay in fours, and that was a total of six fifteen forty nine between all of them. The balance due right now is zero. The next one that was paid was Klarna. Again, another one of those paying fours. And 
And that was a total of $53.29. The next one that I paid was my Affirm. And that was February when I paid that off. And the total of that was $359.76. Then in February, we also paid Best Buy. And that was a total of $1,221.30. That's paid in full. Let me scoot this up a little bit. Next one was Paisa number five in February as well. And that was a total of four ninety four sixty eight. And we'll go to the next page. <clears throat> so the next one was care credit and that was paid March 2024 and we paid a total of 1073 and 24 cents paid off and now to what we have left we have Discover, which is we started at seven thousand seven fifty seven and seventy four cents, and we currently owe as of my payment just this past week seven thousand ninety six nineteen. For my loan number one, which has become my balance transfer card, I'm just going to put that note here. The new balance, or the balance we started with was $10,170.26. The new balance as of today, right now, is 9000 Four ninety-four and sixty-eight cents. Um, the next one I have is my Paisen number six, which is two thousand. We started out two thousand five eighty-nine thirty-four, and as of today, we currently owe two thousand. Four twenty-seven fifty-two. Then my last one is loan number two, and that is a total of. So this one I actually had to go back and really do some math because, um, it's the math is kind of going backwards. It's not being reduced a whole lot and it wasn't at first for a while for several months because I had unpaid interest and so slowly every every month I've been making a little bit more than the minimum payment so that interest has been going down some so it looks like we haven't paid a whole lot even though we've been m making monthly payments every month so the balance right now is twenty four five thirty nine nineteen, and these balances um, are a little bit different than my debt update video because some of the payments have been made since that video, and this one was really the balance that I really had to go back and look at my statements because 
I really wasn't sure um, where we were at on that. So I had to go back and check and kind of see how the math is going. And on this one in particular, the math is, is kind of now moving in a positive direction going down. But for the first several months that I started back paying on it since October, it wasn't going down. Um, it really was just kind of staying the same because I had a lot of unpaid interest. And now I'm still not out of the unpaid interest because this is accruing daily interest. So this one, not anymore, but it was accruing daily interest. This one is also still accruing daily interest. This is 0% um, interest, this is 0% interest, this is now 0% interest, and then this one um, is not. This one is still accruing daily interest. So um, it looks like I haven't paid a whole lot so far, and that's because I haven't because I had a lot of unpaid interest. So hopefully that number will continue to start moving as I said in my debt video, my goal is to try to pay this one off by October, November. Um, for this one, my hope is to pay it off by March. It's probably going to be more like April of next year, um, 2025. This one also right after this one. So maybe by like June of 2025. And then this one will take me a little bit longer. And that is probably going to be more like 2027. So that is a total of, for all of that, we'll just add it up real quick. Let's get our calculator. Meant to be as one. The universe has known it all along. Maybe this is where our story starts. Maybe it was written in the stars Written in the stars You and me So that was a total starting number of 51,902.66 Get that, 51,902.66 so now, as far as, you know, what we still owe, um, we can just do a quick calculation on that. That is 43, 557.58. So, That is how much we are at right now. 43,557.58 still owed. And that is what we'll be working on in 2024. So not bad. Come a long way, you guys. Um, let's see what the difference is between that. That is a total of $8,345.08 that I've paid in the last, I guess since, uh, you could say like November, because it really started in October, but you know, I really didn't pay anything off until starting in November. So that's $8,345.08 paid. So we'll just put that here. 8,345 and eight cents. So yeah, that is what we've paid. That is what we started with. That is what we still owe. And that is so we've paid off 16 point Oh, eight percent of the total debt owed. So yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So I did eight thousand three hundred and forty-five oh eight divided by the total we started with. That gave me the 
a decimal number and then I multiplied that by 100 to move the decimal over to where it should be. And then that is your percent, which is 16.078. So I put 16.08. That is the percent we've paid off. So yeah, that is where we are today. And my payment for loan number two hasn't come out yet. That will be coming out in the next week or so. Um, this payment has been made for April already. This payment has been um, put to the side and well, that's now due on the 17th. So that wouldn't be due till after our next paycheck. But I went ahead and put the money to the side and kind of like paid it, but paid it to my savings just to hold out because I did try to get this payment due date changed. So I'm hoping it will essentially skip a month so that I can put it towards Discover instead. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I still haven't seen an update yet. Um, pays at number two just got paid. So that already came out. So that is the new balance right there. And then low number two, that one will come out. Like I said, that, that one comes out around the 10th. So that one will be coming out also for April. So, so far, this has been paid. This kind of has been paid. Um, this has been paid. This is still pending. So, hopefully, um, that's kind of motivation for some of you to continue and to, you know, just stay on it. And, and this is just incredible to see that I've paid this much I would have never if you would have told me six months ago that I would have been able to do this I would have said you're crazy and I would never be able to do that but I stuck with it uh, it the process works um I like the small wins I don't really have any more small wins left we're down to the hard stuff and you know it's just a battle now to continue to be continuously in the mindset of paying off debt to get out of this so yeah, I hope you guys are encouraged by this. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure if you like this video, please like. Um, it helps my algorithm and push this video out to other people who may need it, need some motivation. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know where you are in your debt-free journey. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks. Bye.